Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today as Billy joins us as well. Today we're going to discuss the advanced settings on the Equinox 800. Um, on the left we have my machine which is set up with the 11 inch coil and on the right we have Christina's machine which is set up with the 6 inch coil. So what we're going to do today is discuss how to set um, your discrimination and how to set your advanced settings for things like volume on particular tones and um, the actual tone itself on particular target IDs. So let's get into it. So to start with, I'm just going to discuss discrimination. So discrimination is in, in a sense removing a certain section of the target IDs. So at the moment we're in field one and we've discriminated anything from 15 and above. Um, we've kept that in and anything below has been taken out. So how to do that is very simple. You just want to go across your settings until you get into this one, which is the accept and reject. Now, at the moment, as I said, we are 15 and above selected, but if we wanted to go and say we wanted to keep 10 in, we would just hit the accept button. Maybe we want to keep five in and four in. And then we just want to go back to the normal settings and you can see that those ones that we've selected are, uh, we've kept and the rest are still removed. So you'll only be alerted then if those target IDs that you have selected come up on the machine. If you get anything that's not selected, you won't be notified. So I'll go back into that setting again and I want to remove those. So just go across to each number and then remove it. Go back out and then we have 15 and above still selected. So that's simple discrimination. Now we'll move on to tones. Right guys, so to get into the advanced tone settings, all you need to do is to go onto the tone icon and hold down the settings button. Now it'll take you into the advanced tones. So we're on five tone. We've got five different sections here and what I want to do is to set a lower tone for a lower target ID. So to do that, I simply adjust what the tone is. Now it's already set at one, but I'll go through the tones for you. So you can see there the higher the number, the higher the tone. So lower target IDs, I want at a very low number. In this particular type of hunting that I want to do for this setting, um, I don't really want to hear the lower tone targets. So then I want to move on to the next one and I want to adjust that also to a lower number because what I want to really hear um, is the 20 and above tones. So probably set that one as one as well. And then we're roughly now um, between 15 and 20. So I do want to hear a little bit of a higher tone for that. So again, I've set the other ones low. This one, maybe at a 10. I want to hear it a little more. And then these are the ones that I really want to hear. So this is 20 and above. So 20 to 30, 30 to 40. Um, now I really want to hear those. So I've got them set at a higher tone, but I'll go through again. So the last one is at this, it's at a 10. So you can hear, and now the difference up to 25. So there'll be a big distinction between the ones that I've set really low um, to the mild uh, 15 to 20, from 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. So I'm gonna set these two at the same 25. So that's already done there. So now what will happen is when I go over targets that are between the minus nine and the 10, I won't really hear a high tone at all. Um, again, from the uh, one to 10, I won't really hear anything. Um, from 10 to 20, I'll hear a little bit, but definitely from 20 to 30 and 30 to 40, I'll hear a high tone target. So now to accept that that's um, done, I just press the accept reject and then I go out of 
the advanced settings and that's now all set up for hunting so again what will happen is I won't really hear between minus 9 and um, 10 I'll hear a little between 10 and 20 and then I'll hear a lot a nice high tone between 20 and 40 now if I want to adjust the actual volume of those settings I can do that as well so my volume currently is on 20 that's for the video I never have it that high necessarily especially if I'm not using my headphones because I don't want to annoy anyone but to adjust the actual volume of those settings I go into the advanced settings for volume so again I hold that button and you can see we've got those five sections so the volume of that first section is on four which means that I won't really hear that at all now that's the way that I personally wanted um, but obviously you can adjust that to be just as high as the rest rest of them um, and then you can just hear those lower tones now I don't want to hear it so I'm going to put it all the way down to off um, you don't have to do that. As I said, you may want to hear those lower targets. It really depends on the type of hunting that you're doing. But for me, in this particular type of hunting, I don't want to hear it. But I do want the option to look at the screen and still see those ones between that. Um, and then if I turn the volume up on them, I want to still know that they're a lower tone, like we've just set up. So I want to go across to the next one. Um, now that's at 25 in volume. I definitely don't want that to be that high so I probably want that down at the zero as well for me personally then I want to move on to the next one so I do want to hear those a little bit but not as much so I'll probably set that at about a 12 um, and then again I move on to these ones now I definitely want to hear these so I went want those right up on the 25 and again to the next one right up on the 25 so you can see that not only can you set individual tones for different numbers uh, for different target IDs but you can also adjust the volume on those so you could have it all set at one tone um, and then you could have it set at particular IDs uh, for particular tones and things like that um, so for me now essentially what I've done to the machine is I have set low tones for the lower target IDs and I've set high tones from 20 to 40. And now I've also, in the volume of those tones, set it up so that the higher the target ID, the higher the volume. So it's going to be on 25 for between 20 and 40. And then um, I think we set it on about 12 from the 10 to 20, and then nothing for those two. So I don't wanna hear those in this type of hunting. Um, but again, each to their own individual preferences. So now that I've set up everything the way that I wanted, I can save that as my own profile. And to do that, you wanna hit this button here on the side of the machine. So you can hold it in, you hear that beep? Now that's my own personal profile for that particular type of hunting that I want to do. Um, now that means that if I want to use this machine for other other types of hunting I can still do that I can still use field 2 or field 1 and take it off my own personal setting um, that's entirely up to you and I, we do do different types of hunting so I wouldn't use those um, settings for example on the beach well firstly I would be in beach mode um, as opposed to field but on a beach where there's jewelry um, a lot of jewelry comes up as a lower tone so I would really want to hear those tones um, and if you watch one of our previous videos you'll see that our engagement rings uh, which are white gold come up as a much lower tone something that I would miss if I was using these settings so different types of um, detecting require different settings but that gives you an idea of how to go into the advanced settings and how they can be used now I could make a video literally for an hour or two on how all of the different settings works and things like that but that gives you a general idea of how to get into the advanced settings and some of the things that you can do with them the next video that we'll be making will be on the difference between the six inch 
and the 11 inch coil on the Equinox. So keep an eye out for that one and thanks for watching.